the source of all wisdom and all knowledge right inside of us. Are we using that? Or are we still just carried away by every wind of doctrine? Friends, are you are you living for Jesus today? Have you established yourself in him? Maybe you're at a spot where you realize, you know, maybe I'm really not where I need to be. And it's time to get things right. Father, I just thank you for this message tonight, God. And I thank you, Lord, that you live inside each one of us that have, that have accepted you as our Lord and Savior. And Father, I just pray that we realize the power that's living inside each and every one of us tonight. Father, I pray now that your spirit work in our midst, Lord. If there's somebody here or somebody listening at a later time that's never accepted you as their Lord and Savior. I just pray that you convict them of their sins, Lord, and help them to cry out to you and confess their sins because your word tells us that if we confess our sins, that you are faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So, Father, help somebody proclaim you as their Lord and Savior and confess their sins to you and humble themselves and accept you as their Lord and Savior. Maybe there's somebody, Lord, who did that and realized that they're not where they need to be right now. I just pray that you give them the courage, Lord, to cry out and confess to you and repent and start living for you, Father. And for the person that's right where you want them to be, I just pray that you give them the strength to stay right there, stay living for you. And Father, I just pray that you go with us now, Lord, and that you guide guard and protect us lord and that you bring us back at your next appointed time for it's in jesus name i ask it amen i hope you take time out of of each day and at least get your day started right by getting into god's word with our daily dose of inspiration broadcast but i encourage you also to take time out of your day and read god's word spend time studying and feasting on the Word of God. And you know, your time that you spend doing that, the time that you spend thanking God, the time that you spend in prayer, is never time that's wasted. Even if it means you get up 10 minutes early each day to pray and to feast on God's Word, start there and allow Him to lead you and direct you. The hymn that I want to read tonight for you, if you have an old copy of the Red Back Hymnal, it's number 264. And the song is At the Cross. It's five verses, so listen listen to these verses. Listen to the, the words of this song. It says, Alas, and did my Savior bleed, and did my Sovereign die? Would he devote that sacred head for such a worm as I? Was it for crimes that I had done, he groaned upon the tree? Amazing pity, grace unknown and love beyond degree. Well might the sun in darkness hide and shut his glories in when Christ the mighty maker died for man the creature's sin. Thus might I hide my blushing face while his dear cross appear. Dissolve my heart in thankfulness and melt mine eyes to tears. But drops of grief can ne'er repay the debt of love I owe. Here, Lord, I give myself away, tis all that I can do. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. That's an awesome, awesome old hymn of the church. And I've thought about those words often. And then I thought about my sins that nailed him to that tree. Have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? I sure hope you have. If you haven't and you want some more information, feel free to email me at scripturelinks at gmail.com. And I'd be happy to tell you what it means to be a Christian. Friends, thank you so much for joining me this week. And I hope that you join me each morning for the Daily Dose of Inspiration. And then join me back here again next Tuesday night at 6 p.m. 
as we once again break the bread of life. Have a great week, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for listening. Check out our website, www.myscripturelinks.com.